Hi, welcome back. Today's lesson is called Pattern Block Sort and Count. Today you will name and sort shapes and practice drawing shapes. Are you ready? Let's go. First, let's count to 10. We're going to start on the number one. Put your hands on your legs, and each time we say a number, tap it out on your legs. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job counting to ten. Now, let's go backwards. Ready? Starting at ten. Keep tapping. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. If you did all that counting, give yourself a round of applause. Woohoo! Great job counting forward and backward today. Hey, we are going to need some materials for our lesson today. There's quite a few. The first is just a regular paper and pencil. It can be any sort of paper you have that you would like to use. Next, we're going to need the pattern blocks from your student math kit, as well as your numbers to 10 counting mat, also from your student math kit. Pause this video, go get your supplies, come back and press play when you're ready. You are ready? You have got all your supplies? Great! In order to start our lesson, just set your supplies to the side and I will let you know when we are going to need them. First, do you remember when we took a look at the circle and spheres yesterday? And we said that the clock was a circle, and the globe was a sphere, and that plate was a circle, and that basketball was a sphere, and the coin was a circle, and the orange was a sphere? Do you remember how we decided if a, a shape was a circle or a sphere? Yes, all of our circles are 2D shapes, and they are flat, flat, flat. And all of our spheres are 3D shapes, and they sit up, up, up. Great job! There's that circle and sphere that you remembered from our lesson yesterday. Okay, let's look at your pattern blocks. Pull your pattern blocks over. And on Monday, we spend time sorting all of your pattern blocks into piles that matched by size and color. Take a few minutes right now and sort them again. If you need to pause the video to continue sorting, pause it now. Great job! You finished sorting? All of your pattern blocks are in their piles? Excellent! Great job sorting by color and size today. We're going to need that piece of paper and your pencil now. Keep all your pattern block piles close to you as we're going to do some shape drawing today. First, find the hexagon. Ugh. Do you remember what the hexagon looks like? Oh, that's right. The hexagon was our biggest shape. It has six sides and is yellow. Take your hexagon and anywhere on your paper that you have room, place the hexagon flat on your piece of paper. Hold your hexagon down with one hand, put your pencil in the other, and we're going to trace the hexagon. Go around right now and do all six sides. Trace around. Nice! You just traced a hexagon. Say, this is a hexagon. It has six sides. Very good! Your paper should look like this. Next, grab the two rhombuses. Remember, we have two. Take a blue, take a tan, and find them a special spot on your paper. Remember, they can go anywhere that you have space. 
It doesn't matter which one you trace first. Remember to hold it down with one hand, put your pencil in the other, and trace around those sides. Great, once you do one, do the other. Hold it down, trace around the sides. You did it! Say, these are rhombuses. They have four sides. Very good, here's what your paper should look like. You've drawn some beautiful shapes. Let's add a few more. Next, find a square. See if you can find him. Great. Find your square, a special spot on the paper. Remember, it can go anywhere. Hold it down with one hand, put your pencil on the other hand, and trace around your square. You did it! Say, this is a square. It has four sides. Very good. Next, let's look for a trapezoid. Do you see a trapezoid? Hmm, <gasps> that's our red shape. Hold your red shape down. Remember, anywhere on your paper. Let's trace its sides. Trace around the trapezoid. Yes, you're doing it. Say, this is a trapezoid. It has four sides. Excellent. Now we need to add one last shape to our paper. Grab your teeny tiny triangle. Find a good spot for your triangle. Hold it down with one hand and trace around. Yes, say, this is a triangle. It has three sides. Excellent! There is your beautiful shape paper today. Great job tracing. Push your paper and your pencil off to the side. Get your numbers to 10 counting mat ready. Set it right in front of you and keep all your pattern blocks close by. In this bag, I have some pattern blocks. We're going to pull some blocks out and graph them. A graph is an easy way to read information. Once we put it on the graph, we'll be able to quickly and easily see how many more, uh, we'll be able to quickly and easily see how many more shapes we need and which shape we had the most of. Ready? Here we go. Our first shape is, what is that? Yeah, it's a rhombus. Take your rhombus and move it all the way over here to the first spot on your numbers to 10 counting mat. Yeah, grab a rhombus and move it. It will look something like this. Good. Let's see what our next shape will be. It's also a rhombus. Wow, move that rhombus so that it is sitting in the second spot on your numbers to 10 counting mat. We're keeping these shapes in the same row because they're the same shape. When we get a new shape or a different shape, it will need to go in the bottom row. Here's our next shape. <gasps> what is that? It's a, yes, a trapezoid. Hey, that's a different shape. Let's put the trapezoid in the bottom row, but in the first spot. Great job graphing. Oh, my next shape was already ready. What is it? Another rhombus. Remember, we're putting the rhombuses on the top row. Let's put this rhombus in the third square on our graph. 
Great! Remember, your graph should look just like mine. Here's our next shape. It's a... What is that? It's another trapezoid. Where will this trapezoid go? That's it, on the trapezoid line. Put this trapezoid in the second square on the bottom row with his other trapezoid friend. Our next shape is a... What is it? Uh-huh, a rhombus. Where will this rhombus go? See if you can move it before I move it. Yes, in the fourth spot on our graph. It's staying on the top row because it's another rhombus. Our next shape is... Oh, wow! Another rhombus. See if you can move it before I move it. That's it. That rhombus will fill up the entire top row of our numbers 10 counting mat. I remember that this counting mat counts to 10. So I also remember that the top row only has enough space for five shapes. So how many rhombuses did we pull out of the back? We pulled out five. Very good. Let's look at one last shape. It's a... Another trapezoid. You move it before I move it. Very good. It should go on the bottom row with his trapezoid friends. Excellent. Let's look at our shape graph. Hmm. Which shape did we have the most of? The most rhombuses. We had five of those. Good. Which shape did we have the least of? Yes, we have the least amount of trapezoids. We only have three. Look at our number stitch and counting mat. Can you quickly see how many more shapes we would need to fill it up? How many spots are still open? Hmm. That's right, two, one, two. We have two open spots on our counting mat. Great job practicing shapes again today.